The Hilinox One chair costs like $110 and it feels inferior to this one. To me, that is crazy, folks. My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. Over the last couple of months, it's come to my attention that Nature Hike has some new chairs out on the market. So after looking around, I found that the company did in fact have three new chairs. There's three separate models. One is like an overlanding chair, then there's a backpacking chair, and then they also have a high-backed backpacking chair. Out of those three models, the smaller backpacking chair caught my attention. So I went ahead, purchased it, and here we are today. The chair that I'm talking about specifically is what the company calls the YL08 Small Moon Chair. As far as the design goes for this chair, it pretty much matches most backpacking chairs that are out on the market, with one exception. Well, two exceptions, actually. The size of this is rather small, and the weight of this is rather low. When you compare this to a One Tigress chair, while the chairs are virtually the same size as far as like seating position goes and so on, this chair features a smaller pack size, and it's also lighter weight. When you compare this to a Helinox Chair 1, the size and the weight are almost the same, but this chair costs significantly less. To start off here, folks, let's take a look at the storage bag itself. We have a grab handle on each side. These loops also allow you to attach this to the chair itself as a sort of pouch underneath the sitting position. To open this up, we have a single zipper that goes across the top, and you also have a zipper pull. Opening up the chair is as simple as that. The first thing that I will pull out are the optional feet that are included. The company calls these anti-sink feet. You can attach these to the legs and hopefully you won't sink into the mud with these on. Here's the seat itself and here we have the frame. In addition to the frame, we have this elastic loop that goes around it to hold everything into place. It does an okay job at this. As you can see here, it's pretty loose but it does work. Putting the frame together is what you would expect with a camping folding chair. Basically, you just slide the pieces into place. Which takes about three seconds. Putting on the seat is very simple. You have the logo up at the top. Basically, on the back side here, you have sleeves and these go over the poles. To put the chair together, it's rather simple, but I have to say it does take a little bit of strength to get those poles into those sleeves. A little bit more strength than I've experienced with some other chairs. It's not extremely difficult, but it does take some force. As far as comfort goes, this is what I would expect with a folding camp chair. On a scale from like one to 10, with 10 being the most comfortable chair of all time, this is a good solid eight. Most camp chairs are a seven or an eight. The seat is high enough off of the ground where your knees are nice and comfortable. Like it's a good natural seating position. So much better than that terrible clip chair. Do you all remember that? That chair basically had you laying down just like this, staring up into the sky. This one here, it's kind of loungy, but it's not extreme. You can easily lean forward. The material doesn't dig into the back of your legs. So as far as a camp chair goes and comfort goes, this is hitting on all cylinders. It's not doing anything wrong. Before we put on and try out the anti-sinking feet, let's go over some stats real quick. When it comes to this chair, it is available in two colors, green and also a yellow color that's somewhat like brownish. It's a unique color, I actually like it. It's like a tannish yellow brown combination that looks quite good. What I have here, of course, is the green version and I really like this. This is a nice color green. It comes with a gray and red frame, along Along with black reinforcement hardware and the nature hike logo is a tan yellowish color speaking of the frame this is a 7075 aluminum when it comes to the seat the fabric that is the 600 denier oxford in addition to the polyester fabric we have some polyester mesh on both sides of this seat so you do have good airflow and breathability here the stored dimensions 14 inches long by 4 inches thick when the chair is set up it stands 28 inches tall it is 16.1 inches wide it is 14.6 inches from the ground to the bottom of the seat at the top back you're looking at 21.3 inches wide. The seating depth is 12.2 inches, and as far as width goes there, it is 15 and a half inches. Now everybody, let's go over the weight of this chair because it is impressive. The weight is 2.4 pounds, and that includes everything. The storage bag, the chair, the seat, and also the additional feet. The storage bag and the feet add quite a bit of weight to this system. The weight of the chair alone is 1.9 pounds. That makes it one of the lightest weight camping chairs out on the market today. With that being said, 
the one chair that most people think of that is lighter than this one is the Helinox Zero. That chair is just a little bit over one pound, but it costs $160. That kind of puts things in perspective, don't it? Or it will as soon as I talk about price. Speaking of which, the price of this chair, $48. This chair can support up to 265 pounds. And now my friends, let's take a look at the anti-sink feet that are included with this chair. What you're looking at now is the bottom feet that are on the chair. What we have here are the four anti-sink feet. Each one of these feet will look just like this. So they feature a round textured bottom. There's some jimping that goes all the way around. And this is where you put the foot on the chair inside of. Let's see how easy or how difficult this is. So you take the feet, and basically you just pop them on. That's fairly simple. Putting them on, nice and simple. Taking them off, nice and simple as well. What I have here is a very muddy section of Lone Wolf Mountain. Let's see how this chair does. Okay. So sitting down full force and the feet are doing what they are supposed to do. As you can see, the feet and the legs are sinking into the ground, but they're not half as bad as it would be without those on it. They're not stuck in the mud. They're just simply pushing down into it. So in other words, they're doing their job. It is now time to go over my impressions of this chair so far. Now this is just a preview, a first look. I'm going to test this out for many months in a variety of situations and environments, and I will get back to you all with my official review then. But for now, here are my thoughts of this product. So right off the bat, the quality of this product this chair is fantastic. Lately, I've noticed that Nature Hike has begun this big shift towards quality. In the past, they've always made good products in general. I have had some issues, but for the most part, I really do like what this company offers. Years ago, every tent, every product that you would get, it would work fine, but it looked bad. In fact, I've had some tents that look like absolute but over the last couple of years, there has been a shift. And lately, every single product from them that I've tested out looks amazing. Their tents look great, and this chair looks great. As far as folding camp chairs go, this is the highest quality filling chair that I have tested out yet. And this chair only cost $48. You would think that that award would go to Helinox, considering the price of those chairs, of those products. But that's simply not the case. The Hillinox One chair costs like $110, and it feels inferior to this one. To me, that is crazy, folks. I want to say good job to Nature Hike for focusing on quality. You guys are doing a killer job. With me saying that, there are no issues when it comes to this chair. The storage bag, perfect. No loose threads. With the chair itself, the frame looks good, the polymer hardware looks good, and the seat itself, the fabric, looks good. Again, everything's been stitched perfectly. There's no loose threads. It really does look good. And at the same time, everything feels very much premium. Speaking of being impressed, the storage bag is very nice. Again, it feels premium, and at the same time, there's plenty of space inside of this bag to get the chair out of and also to put it back into. I will say this, I wish the zipper was just a little bit longer on the storage bag. That would make like opening it all the way up just a little bit easier so you can pull the components out. As it stands right now, you basically have to like drag them through. It's not a big deal, but I do wish it was just a little bit wider. The weight of the chair is very impressive. It's under two pounds. The chair is 1.9 pounds. The Hillinox Zero is 1.1. The Hillinox Zero is like 150, 160. This is only 48 bucks. So there's like a hundred dollar difference there. And there's not much of a difference in terms of weight. As far as comfort goes, it's great. As far as the seating position goes, it's great. I love this green color. It looks sharp. The anti-seeking feet, they seem to work. I will be testing these out in different environments though, so stay tuned. The weight limit of this chair is not bad. Again, it's 265 pounds. If you need a chair that goes up in weight, you can find those. The Nature Hike YL05 chair will support up to 330 pounds. That chair costs the same as this one, but it is a little bit heavier. Something else I like about this chair is the fact that it's so simple. There's no worthless pockets on this. Let me ask you all a question. When it comes to folding camping chairs, have you ever used one that had pockets on the side? If so, have you ever used those pockets for anything? I have tested out chairs that have pockets from all sorts of companies and I've never once used those pockets. So for me personally, I like a chair that's very simple, no muss, no fuss, no pockets, no extra weight. That's my personal preference. And with this chair here, it's very simple, it's comfortable, and it does everything right so far. Again, my plan is to test this out for multiple months and I will be back with my ultimate review. But right off the bat, 
for initial first look, this is looking very promising. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Make sure to comment down below as well. Share your thoughts about this chair. What do you all think about this for 48 bucks? In my opinion, the weight is good, the size is good, it's comfortable, it's inexpensive, and it looks good. Win, 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 win. And also, it comes with the anti-sink feet. Most companies will make you buy those at an additional cost, but not here with this chair. For this first agenda-free look at the Nature Hike chair, I am done. Everybody take care, be well, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. I appreciate you all, strength and honor. Bye for now.